president is going to act. There are executive orders, executive action that can be taken. We haven't decided what that is yet, but we're compiling it all with the help of the attorney general and, uh, and all the rest of the cabinet members, as well as legislative action we believe is required. Vice President Biden speaking out on the push for more gun control. He says President Obama may consider bypassing Congress and issuing executive orders. No matter what happens, chances are the outcome will end up in the Supreme Court. And with me now, senior legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin, John Meacham, author of Thomas Jefferson, The Art of Power, and constitutional attorney Paige Pate. Let me start with you, if I may, Paige Pate. Uh, obviously a big day tomorrow with uh, Joe Biden meeting with the NRA and with Walmart and others. But in the end, this has to get through Congress, whatever they come up with, and then it also could be affected by executive orders from the president. And then ultimately, I guess, facing an overall sanction from the Supreme Court. Where do you think this all washes up? Well, that's a great question. I mean, there's been a lot of discussion about the politics of gun control, but not really much discussion about the constitutional challenge that is almost inevitable. Uh, a lot of the restrictions that have been discussed will have difficulty getting past this Supreme Court. Uh, recently, just a couple of years ago, the Supreme Court has really emphasized that the lawful possession of firearms, in those cases handguns, is something that our Constitution not just allows, but protects and it protects it with very clear language. 